Hi everyone, guess where I'm at again today? Yeah, I got it, Hobby Lobby. And this store is a contradiction of everything. Uh, they put the Halloween flowers, the beautiful artificial flowers out about, gosh, I'd say a month ago. And uh, when we get over to the other section, they started putting Christmas out about three weeks ago. Oh yeah, and then they kind of threw in some fall there too. You can see some more over there. And I guess you could say this is a combination of fall and Halloween. And then, oh look, there's a few turkeys for Thanksgiving. I love the red tractors and I love the little benches up there. And you guessed it, I'm moseying down the yarn aisles to see if they've put anything else out new. And sorry, didn't mean to spin you around there. Um, and there we have a combination again, uh, fall and Halloween, and more fall decorations around the corner there. And guess what? Yes, it is my day off. So this will be an extended play, everybody. Uh, so um, we'll just mosey on through here and see what we can find. Oh, look, uh, I found orange tags. Um, I already have a bunch. Oh, did you see that just fall apart? I already have a bunch of that, but you know, you never know what I might do. All right, we're just going to keep moseying on through here, you know, I'll bring you along anytime I see something worth of interest. Thank you. And we're finding a few more orange tags running throughout, but not anything I'm actually truly interested in. Uh, let's see here. I did pick up some of this before, and I might just pick up the rest of what they have here um, just so I have enough for whatever project I decide to do and you know just cause in the card it went okay oh and there's only one more so you know why not alrighty and we're just gonna keep moving on alrighty then really did discover a whole lot um they have this. I just don't think I could work with this material and I don't think it would be a comfy material to wear. Uh, but if anybody is looking for that, they've got that in clearance in a couple of different colors. Oh, and they even have it in this. That. Now this feels a lot more comfortable than the, the uh, glittery one does. Um, but they've got that in a couple of different colors for you. If you're still looking for some, they've actually in this little fuchsia pink there as well. Alright everybody, let's just uh, move on from the yarn section here and see what else is doing in Hobby Lobby today. Alrighty, I'm just going to mosey around the corner again just to make sure we didn't miss anything. Hey, and this is very similar to the one I did get. Can't wait to use the one I got that's something like that. Alrighty, let's just mosey past in case you're lucky this type. Uh, they still have a couple of skeins of this left as well. Alrighty, let's uh, zip on through and see what else we can find. This is so pretty too. This is really, really pretty. And I did get a couple of these that were clearanced out, but I'm not seeing any more. I did find the alpaca yarn that I did not get the other day. Um, I wasn't sure I really liked the color schemes on any of these. But the more I'm looking at this one, the more I think I am liking it. Hmm. And I know a lot of you were saying it was easy and soft and really nice to work with. So, hmm, I may study these for a little bit and uh, see what I do. I was really surprised to see these were still here. And as a matter of fact, the way they've got things on the shelves, they're showing them like this, so you don't see the red tags unless you happen to remember that these were red tagged before. So, uh, let me think about this a little for a little bit and see what I decide to do here. And I don't tell you, if you mosey back through enough times, you'll find them. Um, like I said, they're kind of all mixed in and on shelves here and if you don't happen to 
see the orange tag? You're gonna, I'm gonna notice it's there. There's more up here as well. A kind of basic green. Don't actually like. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? There is enough up there for a project. Also found some down there. Found these little guys right here. So it's like I could be here a while because I think I just have to go through and actually turn a skein or two just so I can see price tags. And here's just part of their Christmas stuff that they're already putting out. And we are back down the aisle of 75% of all home goods. That's really cute. I like that. They've got a ton of these fans. Or I don't know what you'd want to call them. Oh, that's cute. Oh, a few trains. They've got a few train knobs left. Yep. It's a big bison. I'm not a big fan of all that. Really cute stuff. 75% off. They have a ton of frames. Alright, I love it. Lots of bins to just scrounge around in. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. Got some Disney light lights. You know, any railroad buffs. That's kind of good too. Bunch of fictions. Baby sparkles. Right here. And flexible brush markers. I'm going to make the same color. Coloring brush. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Oh, and I've got more of the seeds. I don't know what you do with these. I'm not. I make some things, but uh, I'm not really all that into it. I haven't learned the intricacies of using things of this. So some charms, it looks like. Stationery. Let me make up things. More stationery. Little notebooks. They're all over here. What do we got here? Uh, iPhone 8 cases, 8, 7, and 6. Quite a few of them in there. Hmm, I have no idea. Oh, oh nice sketch. See, that's another one of my skills. On top of dropping things, I can catch things as they're falling most of the time. Oh, watch, got six and nope, right there. Got a few flowery projects, got a few, um, I think those are supposed to be partial butterflies. That's cool. Well, that's really cool. Um, bike chain knob, if you will. They are doing some major stocking today, too. Um, all the Christmas stuff that they're getting. This one is clearance out at $374. I didn't call that clearance myself. Extra jars of 
perforate wrap more bottles. So now that's kind of cool too. So, and then you've got a little teapot over there to match this bowl set over here. Got your planters, which are still a little bit too high. That little box down there looks really cool. I like that. Got some little trivet plates. That's $2. Got your little one I just need to get rid of clutter. I just cannot bring anything else into the house. Oh, that's pretty too. Salt and pepper shakers. Those are really pretty designs. So dishes. Then you get into your bowls. Mugs. Oh, that's a good size mug. There you go. More of those little uh, vases, if you will, or I don't know what you'd call them. A little container of salts. Those are amazing. Alright, let's just keep this going. I just saw that. That is an awesome, awesome painting. That's really good. I like that. And most of their summer stuff is on sale right now for 66% off. You see, I did like that last time. Um, that's cool. And we do have, oh my lord, look at the size of that thing. Mm -mm -mm. Is there nothing more adorable than frogs? I think my first tattoo is going to be a tree frog. Yes, I will show it to you when I get it. Um, I may just have my free job, tree frog in this pose. <laughs> I think that's awesome. Like I said, most of their summer stuff is being clearanced out because they are already putting things out for Christmas. This is one of the aisles, which is a contradiction in terms. We have our summer yardy items over on this side, and Christmas, ladies and gentlemen, Christmas. And this aisle, they're just getting ready to stock with Christmas. You see their little markers there of what's going to go where. <laughs> like I said, I saw this about three weeks ago. They started uh, setting things up for Christmas. I'm like, really? First day of summer hasn't even gotten here. I saw Halloween stuff up. Uh, then I saw fall stuff up. And then now we're just full blowing it into Christmas, ladies and gentlemen. Boy, and this is one of the items, or aisles, I should say, that they are dedicating to fall. And I think it's now down to uh, maybe two aisles of fall things. But like I said, Christmas is truly taking over. I know when I worked retail, Christmas came earlier and earlier every year for setting things up and getting out things. Um, and I said, you know, some year, someday, we will have Christmas stocked and ready to buy all year round. And I actually truly think we're getting to that point. That's so interesting. That's really pretty. Nothing wrong, I guess, but uh, it's like it used to. You can let each season have its own. Now, mm -hmm. they got to share. 
Oh my god, he's adorable. And they have a mascara crow too. That's awesome. And look, you can decorate your pole again with stickers. Got your paper plates and all of that. That's really pretty, actually. Got your paper plates, your napkins. Ooh, check out that fancy schmancy one right there. Look, you almost feel like you're walking through a forest in the fall. Oh, you yeah. colors of pumpkins. Okay, that's pretty. I like what they did with the wheat there. That's kind of cool. Got your bag of pine cones. Got your tall plumage. It's really, really pretty. Tons of ribbons. You got your ropes. You got your sparkly ropes. You got your burlap. You got your dried flowers, your wreaths, your berries of sorts. Ooh, this one is actually pretty interesting. Very big, very gaudy. Not my taste, but... Mm -mm interesting and pretty nonetheless oh those are actually like um velvety if you will these are plastic but these guys have a little soft coating on them yeah these are plastic these are uh, they've got a little velvet coating on them kind of a little bit softer a little bit more real feel these are pretty i think it's supposed to imitate cotton Starting. I'm not 100% sure on that either. You've got your fine garlands here. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Got them in the dark there. Ooh! These actually sound like leaves. Dried leaves. Shorter ones. This one's got a little bit cordage and berries into it. And on this side you've got all your separated ones so you can make your own. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, I like this one too. Okay, that's really pretty. Yeah. More, just single leaves. Bumpkins by themselves. Well, these are interesting. They're kind of acorn inch looking, but very soft, very flexible. I really like that. And then you got your glitter release. Oh my god, I said it once right today. You got your glittery, glittery. <laughs> You've got your glittery ones, glitter ones. There, we're just going to keep it simple. with some leaves attached to it. All right, and we are just gonna move. Ooh, more wreaths, more um, streaming garlands, if you will. Oh, that one's pretty too. I like that one. Coming around the corner here, we've got more fall plaques, more fall placards. I love that one right there. Happy fall, y'all. That's cool. Uh, I don't know the tractor. The tractor is awesome. Okay, got more wooden placards there. Oh, check out the corn. Okay, you guys, that's really, really cool. I like that. And it's glitter on it. Glittery. There we go. I did it. Take my time. I could do things. And then on the other side, we've got uh, plates again, cooking utensils, trivets. Whole cans of little doodads. You got yourself some rose gold bronze placemats in leaf form, if you will. That's cute too. Oh, I love that one. That's really cool. The back of the truck with the pumpkins in it. 
got your toy key. More pumpkins. Uh, more fall things and basic colors, I guess you would. These little barrels or these little... Uh, what do we want to call these? Crates. Little crates. Okay, how easy is that to make, you guys? How easy is that? You got your velvety velour stuffed pumpkins there. Fall pillows. You got your fall table scatter, which is really pretty, actually. You've got the pumpkins. Fall leaves and things. Different variety of fall leaves and things. More pumpkins with full. That's pretty. Those are pretty. Oh, wall of ball. Alright. That is actually adorable. And I really could use that as a table for us. We'll get rid of the big honk and high top that we have. Um, I really, really like that idea. We've moved into furniture now. I know we've moved into furniture now. Um, I really, really, really like this file type cabinet. Don't know what I'd do with it, but I would love to have it. Alright guys, as you can see, I have wound up back in the yarn section. I'm going to just look through and see if there is anything more. And uh, I better call it a day and uh, get on with the rest of my chores. If I do anything else interesting today or anything I think you might enjoy, I will definitely bring you along. I have all of this. I have this, this, that, and a few other things. Um, I just need to find some time to get some things done. I have started crocheting quite a bit more, especially since I have been... Uh, stocking up on all this yarn because uh, I do need to use it if I'm going to get it. Um, so here's what I did wind up with. I got four of the alpaca skeins in the Moonlit Mesa and I just grabbed the, what was left of the tea party which was just the three. So just a baby haul today unless I find uh, something else that I can't live without. Alright everyone, take care. I'm going to go through one more time because that's just how we do it. And oh, like see, look at me standing here talking to you. I found some more on clearance. Mm, this is like the scrubby yarn. Okay, alright, here I go. Alright everyone, take care and we will see you in the next video. Take care, bye bye.